memories I have is driving from where I was working, Brisbane in the city, driving to the boxing gym in Newstead and just, you know, walking and giving you a hug and being like, dude, this book is incredible. So engaging, so many great lessons, hell of a read. So go and grab a copy of Fighting Your Demons. Amazing book and it must have been a good feeling to um, get all of those words out on the page from a lot of the experience you've had at that time. Well, that was exactly how I dealt with what was going on, you know, with this personal war you, you've talking about, you know, and, and it was a war and anyone who's been through a divorce and child custody battles, you know, and there's nothing good about it ever. And there's no, there's no, oh yeah, that will work out. It doesn't, if it's angry, it's wrong. And if it's, if it's angry, the, the kids will suffer pain, you know, but when I wrote Fighting Your Demons, it was a case of, I, I'm, I come from the old style of Glasgow type. You don't tell on people, you don't lie, you don't grass, you don't tell people stories because it's going to give you some fame or whatever that. So I made a decision a, a long time ago, of like what happened to Iraq stayed in Iraq. And sure, we can make movies and we can write novels and we can, we can make these incidents fluff around and be something different. But those things that happen will stay there, you know, it's, it's war. You don't bring war home because my, my philosophy of it is we went to war to protect you, James, guys like you, so you would never have to see it. So coming back from war with all these stories of war, you know, defeats the whole point. You know, you're supposed to miss that. So when I wrote Fighting Your Demons, the attitude was I want to teach young warriors, and I use boxing as my genre you know, of, of explaining things, teach young warriors that you learn a lesson from every failure, every hard thing that goes on, there's a lesson in it. And if you focus on the events surrounding it and make that sensational, you'll never learn the lesson. And, and I had to learn that in my personal war because even though I wanted to rage, sure, don't get me wrong, I'm not innocent. I had a couple of rage moments, but only enough to make me go back and go, I'm not that person. I'm not going to be that person. Um, so fighting the demons was a, it was cathartic. It was just nice to get all this out. And, and I knew I was a great leader when I come back, but I, I knew I'd probably never have a chance to lead like this again. You know, thousands of men under my command at one point, you know, generally hundreds, you know. So I felt like I was a good person. I felt like I was good at my job. Um, I'm good under pressure, and I and I set out to learn how to live in society under the, <laughs> the, the small gaskets of you know <laughs> everyone's emotions. It took me ages, and, and fighting the demons and the book that came after that, but the Bible of boxing, they were they were the saviors of my life. Been able to write that and then teach that for the years through my troubles, be able to teach these lessons 